All right, Shalom. Shalom. So uh, first and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who were well. Peace and salutations to all of us at Akiyam, the during afflictions, making their calling and election sure. It's your brother Kabar. Uh, back with another one, Lord willing, just be edifying to the elect. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Baharuka Kadash, Brokadam. To all the sister listeners who may hear this. So uh, just to kick it off, this is in the book of Second Ezra 7 and verse 6. It says, There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. And that, and that city that's uh, building, you know, that's the kingdom of heaven, like me and the brother was touching on. Matter of fact, I, uh, like, you know, bear with me one second, brother. Okay. Huh. Um, Proverbs, I think it's Proverbs 24, I'm going to do it. Um, yep. Can you, can you, can you grab, uh, Proverbs 24 and 3, Baba Kisha? Okay. Just a quick point. Okay, this is in the book of Proverbs 24 and 3, it says, Through wisdom is in house builded, and by understanding it is established. By understanding is it established, man? You know, so you know that that city that's uh that, that's building, you know, upon a broad field. Well, you know, ultimately you can apply that to you know the the, the, the vast wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Yeah, how about Shemuel Shai, man? You know. Mhm. Mm God, huh. that's powerful. Uh, yeah, I, you know, that's that's the spirit, you know, that we, you know recrank this up because you know i was thinking of that earlier but you know the spirit didn't allow it but you know it's beautiful that they came out you know mm-hmm yep okay back in second Ezra 7 and verse 6 it says there's also another thing a city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things and we already know wisdom Solomon the sixth chapter tell us that the desire of wisdom from the fourth kingdom. Mm. You know. <laughs> so so that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, that Yahweh Shemashah has uh given us to be able to uh, you know, navigate to uh ultimately, you know, and, and you know, make make journey, you know, make journey to uh be able to get to the to that city city that's built, you know. Yep. Come, bro. Verse, um, verse seven. It says, mm -hmm. "The entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand, and on the left a deep water." So you know, we know that you know to get to the kingdom of heaven, you know, it's a lot of obstacles that we're going to face to get there. You know, which ultimately, how much you know, He's given us tools, you know, to be able to get there. You know. Uh, through, through the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, you know, well, Isaiah 33 and 6, you know, for wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times and the strength of salvation. So, yeah, but you know, has given us the tools through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of of, 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 of his word, you know, of, of, of his, you know, for, uh, through, through, you know, through his truth, you know, to be able to get there, you know. Mm hmm. Yep. It says uh, in verse 8. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Yeah, right. So only one man can go there at once, which, you know, uh, like me and the brother was alluded to, you know, before, you know, this video got hindered, you know, uh, that, 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 re that really that one man represents uh, side myself, like in uh, Ephesians, the fourth chapter. When they speak about how when we come until we come into the full unity of the faith, into the perfect stature of the house of Mashiach, you know, into the uh, fullness, you know, to, to, to the fullness of Him, you know, which, you know, together, you know, Lord willing, we those men, we, you know, we we embody our Lord Yahweh Mashiach collectively, you know, so only through Him we're going to be able to get there, you know, get get there, just like 
he got there, you know, first to because why? Because he made it to, you know, the fire and the water, which you know is, is, is similar to all the things we're faced with in our walk. You know, and our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, he conquered that. You know, he made it through. You know, and you know through him, Lord willing, together we can make it through. You know. Mhm. Mm yep. That's right, bro. You know, Lord willing, we be those men. You know, we already got the victory. You know. Uh, yep. You mean read verse nine, right? Yeah, kind of, Baba Kasha. It says, "If the city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he shall, shall like it, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance?" Right. So you know, ultimately, we know the kingdom of heaven is, is, is promised unto us, man. You know, through, through our forefathers, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, the kingdom of heaven, you know, is uh, promised unto us. You know, but uh, ultimately, we're, we're not going to get that. Uh, we're, we're not going to get there. It, 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 unless we go through, uh, unless we go through uh, trials and tribulations, man. unless unless we make it through these different obstacles, obstacles that we have to make it through, you know. Otherwise, we're not getting there, you know. So we have to go through tribulation to be able to get into uh, the inheritance that the heavenly Father has promised unto us, you know. Kind of. We jump to Acts fourteen. Kind of. This is Acts 14 and 22. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must, it says, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem uh, yeah, We must. We must, man. That's a must. You know, we must go through much tribulation to enter into the kingdom of, of, of Yahweh Hashem You know, and me and the brother, we went into that word uh, tribulation. You know, it goes into pressure. You know, uh, oppression, affliction, you know, uh, adversity, you know, uh, different trials, basically. You know, we're, we're going to be faced with uh, that fiery trial, you know. Yeah, hold, hold on, I, I got to quit for a second. Uh, um, like that, that first to the four. That is first to the four and eleven. Um, I can read it for you. Huh. To my the oracles. Uh, not the one that say fiery tribe to twelve. Come. Huh. This is First Peter four and twelve. It says, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. Right. Yeah. So you know we we're not supposed to think the strain of, of, of the fiery trial, you know, which is to try us, that some strange thing happened to us. Why? Because we know that you know through much tribulation that's how we're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven you know we, we know that you know the entrance is, is is very narrow man you know so we're not supposed to you know be, be shocked uh of, of the different fiery trials that you know we're faced with man because it's a must that we go through this you know if, if we want to get get into the kingdom of heaven you know mm -hmm. you, you'll read that uh, uh verse 13 as well up uh, verse 13 it says but Rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, that ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. See, and then link up with that second Ezra 7 when it was talking about how that one man entered in. It, it was a, the, the, the path was narrow, that, uh, so only one man could enter in at the time, man. You know, which we was touching on, you know, really in, 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 uh, when, when you really think about it, you know, that's, that's, that's your house out my shop. This is how we shine my shot, which through him we're gonna enter, you know, into the kingdom of heaven. You know, Lord willing we be those men. You know, so but just like our Lord Yahweh Shah had to endure different, you know, tribulations and adversities and pressures to be able to receive the inheritance that was promised unto us, you know, that's the same thing we're gonna have to uh have to do. So that's why, you know, we're supposed to rejoice. You know, that's why we're supposed to rejoice in these tribulations, because ultimately, you know, uh we 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 uh we have what it takes to to get to that you know get that inheritance in that kingdom you know like our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach do them you know we get to be partakers with our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach as well man you know we get to uh you know play play a role in uh you know uh doing our part to receive you know greatness just like he did you know on the ultimate level you know. Mm hmm. I 
got one. Got that. Um, this is in the book of Colossians 1 and verse 24. It says, I'm going to start at verse 23. It says, If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, that fill up that which is behind the afflictions of Hamashiach in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. You know, so that church, we know that means the real definition is a group of believing Israelites. You know, that's the body of Hamashiach, man. That was, you know, that was the point, you know. Yeah, that's heavy, y'all. <laughs> that was a nice pre. You know, that was that was a nice passage. Matt, Matt, can you read it one more time, Mark? Con. Nice. Con. This is in uh, Colossians one and um, twenty. Um, oof, I could have started a little higher, but verse. Uh, go, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Con. Um, let me start at twenty. Con. Verse 19, it says, For it pleased the Father that in him shall all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of his cross by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. It says, In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. Verse 23 says, If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Hamashiach in my flesh for his body's sake, who, it says, which is the church. You know, it's lock you, but yeah, yeah, you know, this is, yeah, it's how this thing works, man. It's how this thing works. If you could receive it, man, you know, you know, we, we were, we're part of, we're part of that body. That's why, you know, Yahweh Shah, he, he said in, um, you know, the last supper, as they call it, you know, take this, this is my flesh, you know, mm -hmm. because, because, because we are part of that. We, you know what I'm saying? We're part of that, man. Low will and we be those men. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah. You just made me think of two of them. Um, I got this right here. This uh, Hebrews 12. I'm going to start from the top. I can um, read it for you if you want. Tom, yeah, you got it, brother. Hebrews 12 and 1 it says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Yeah, because that link over that first Corinthians the ninth chapter when Apostle Paul was like, uh, you know, unless unless myself should be a castaway, you know. Mm. And you know, first Corinthians four as well tell you that we are uh, made a spectacle unto men and to angels, man. You know. And it was a, it's another precept I think in Baruch, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But I was, you know, I was uh, reading it yesterday during the lesson. I was praying uh, during the lesson. It was pretty much saying that, uh, like, the same way uh, the heathen seen us afflicted and reproached is the same as uh, and glorified, you know. Mm. So, you know, that's why, you know, it says in, uh, in Hebrew, right here in Hebrews 12, it says, let us therefore, you know, run with patience, you know, the race that is set before us, man. You know, because uh, you know, ultimately, you know, uh, you know, where the race is not into the swift. Yeah. You know, we, you know, we, we want to finish. We want to get through. We want to get through all, all these obstacles, man. You know, so we got to make sure uh, we're, we're navigating ourselves. And make sure you know we're we're not uh, you know we're, we're not gonna fall in the water of that fire. You know. Yep. Oh, there's more on that, verse 2? Yeah, uh, you go down to 3. Okay. 
Verse 2 says, Looking unto Yahusha, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh Shem Yahusha. Right there, go ahead, you know, uh, you know, giving us, uh, you know, letting us know that I go to Yahweh Shem Yahusha is the way, you know, the, the, the way on, on to how we, we get unto the kingdom of heaven, you know, how we get that inheritance, you know, how we get to the city that's built, you know, because, uh, you know, we have to endure, you know, and uh, ultimately, you know, uh, you know, uh, deal with these different trials, just like he did to be able to get there, you know, that's why we're supposed to rejoice, and we can be partakers in the sufferings, man, because ultimately, you know, that's, that's how we get uh, that city that's built. No. Yep. Verse 3 says, For consider him that endured much contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. And that's, and that's, uh, let's, let's go to Matthew 7 real quick. Uh, we, 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 we're there, but it's a perfect time to go to that. Good time. Uh, it says, For consider him that the God there is such contradictions of sense itself that you be weary and faint in your mind. You know, so it's two points I want to touch on on the minute. Okay. Matthew 7, let me start at 13. Okay. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in their at. And the many there be that go in their at are, you know, uh, those who uh who who were weary who who got weary and and, and, and faint in their minds, man. You know, <laughs> they 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 got they, they couldn't uh, endure all the different obstacles and trials that you know they were faced with to to, to, to get uh to, to get to the uh, goal, you know, to get to the finish line. You know, which ultimately you know the kingdom of heaven. You know, they couldn't endure that. You know, so they got weary, they got weary and faint in their minds. You know, and and that, that's gonna be many. You know, because they're not going to be able to uh, ultimately, you know, uh, endure these different obstacles. Lord willing, it's not us, you know. Um, verse 14 says, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Right, you know, because few are going to be able to, uh, you know, endure uh, contradictions of, 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 of other sinners against themselves, which ultimately we have to endure you know, uh, the, uh, the sin of, of, of our, uh, past lives, including this life, uh, against ourselves, man. You know, we're still not free, uh, from, from, from the bondage and the consequences of, uh, uh, of sin that we have committed within this life and our past lives, man, you know? So, you know, but, but ultimately, you know, we, we have to think about how you shot my shot, you know, he, 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 he endured, you know, all the trials he had to face with, uh, be faced with, uh, um, th through our whole nation, you know, and included what, you know, he, uh, you know, he, he, the, the sins he, 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 he has committed, you know, so ultimately we got to keep that in mind too, you know, and that's, that's something, you know, every, you know, people are selfish, man, you know, so they're not willing to, uh, you know, they're, they're not willing to, uh, De deal with that you know they're not willing to uh put others before themselves esteem, esteem others higher than themselves man mm -hmm. you know that's why i say you know uh straight is the gate man you know because th this this one is going to really show you know this was really going to prove your love you know like it says in saint john 15 greater love have no man than this that he laid down his life for his friends you know yep come yeah, that was that, that was the uh, you, you got some um yeah let me jump to matthew 20. Okay. um just to get to the point um matthew 20 and 16. Mm -hmm. it says so the last shall be first and the first last for many be called but few chosen because um you made that analogy you know in the first go around with uh sports you know it could be 30 teams in the nba or 32 in the nfl 
you know, who are basically, you know, called to, to take part in, you know, trying to get that chip. But it's going, there's only going to be one team, all right, that's going to be on top, you know. So, you know, if, if you align that with that one that one body of Hamashiach, that's going to make it, you know, on the other side, man. You know, make mm -hmm. it through that straight gate, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So, that's how this thing works, man. You know? And, and this thing, man, many are called, man. There's a lot of people out here on the highways and byways doing this work, man, that were called to do this thing, man. All right? But it says few chosen, you know? So, even within... All right, with even within this, you know, scriptures talk about the judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. You know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of guys that's that's preaching, you know, as the scriptures bring out in Philippians one. You know, you preaching Hamashiach with strife and envy, man. You're not preaching with that with that love, man. You know, and like we already brought out, it takes that it takes that love, man. If you esteeming brothers higher than yourself, you know, if you lay down your life for your brother, that that's what it took for for, for Hamashiach to actually endure. You know, I was gonna get that in Sirach too. You know, because this is what it takes to really endure this great tribulation and enter into the kingdom. Uh -huh. But yeah, that was it on yeah. that. Uh -huh. I got, uh, I got, you, you want to, you want to, uh, what say, you say you're going to bring that Sirach too? Yeah, you want me to get something first? Um, yeah, Baba Kassad, uh, could you, uh, grab... Uh, Ephesians 4 and start at 11 uh, okay. and then read down to like 16 okay. Ephesians 4 and 11 it says and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers yeah so you know which when you read up uh, in this chapter he was speaking about how uh, you know the heavenly father you know uh, endowed you know, our Lord Yahushua Mashiach with, you know, glorious gifts, you know, and uh, our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, he basically, uh, you know, gave, you know, gifts unto men, you know, which, you know, th those men are, you know, those who, you know, were called, you know, like, like you uh, just read in Matthew 20 chapter, you know, and it said he gave, uh, and he gave some apostles, and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and, and, and teachers, you know. So, you know, the, the, the Heavenly Father, you know, through our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, you know, gave men uh, different uh, spiritual gifts, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, put put forth uh, the work, you know, to, you know, uh, ultimately uh, get, get to the city that's built, you know. Mm hmm. Verse 12 is okay. Verse 12, it says, For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. Yes, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. You know, which, uh, you know, that, that the perfecting of the saints is going to, you know, are, are going to be able to make it uh, through, 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 through that straight gate. You know, those who are going to be able to make it through that narrow path, you know. So, you know, you you have to be perfected if you if, if you're uh if you have to be perfected, you have to go through rigorous training to be able to get through a specific type of obstacle course, you know. Like you you you're gonna have to go through rigorous training, you know, and that's that's what Yahweh Shnau Sha is uh ultimately set forth, you know, these different men with these different gifts to do. You know, for for the edifying of the body of myself, so we can be built up uh, into that um, into that one man that can uh, enter at the end at a time. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Verse uh, thirteen. It says, "Till we all come in the unity of the faith." See, that's what it's all about. It says, "Till we all come into the unity of the faith." You know, which that that only you know representing the elect. You know, Lord willing, we don't man. You know, so we all come into the unity of the faith. You know, that's that one man that can enter in at a time, man. You know. Mhm. Mm yep. So we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, and to a perfect man, and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Hamashiach. Right. 
know, and that's us collectively. That's us collectively. That's why it's important for us to uh, ultimately, you know, uh, you know, be be speaking the same things. You know, to be on the same court, to, to be on the same page, because because together, you know, us collectively together, you know, we embody the house of my chef, and we make up that one man that we get into that city that's built. Man, you know. So, that's why we got to be on point together, man. Because only together we can we have what it takes to and get through, you know, these different tribulations and trials, you know, to get to that thing, to, to, to get to the kingdom, to like. Mm-hmm. Verse fourteen, Ephesians four and fourteen, one four four says that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men. And cunning craftiness, whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And that's some obstacles. That's some different obstacles. That's, that's the, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's that fire and that water, man. You know, that's the difference. That's that's that's, that's the example of some of the trials and the tribulations that you're going to be faced with. You know, you we but 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 ultimately, you know, we can get through that. You know, through 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 that wisdom. You know, through through wisdom. Is a uh, is a house building, you know, which that house that's built it ultimately is the third temple, you know, which the third temple is with man, the tabernacle, you know, that holy city, you know, Jerusalem, you know, the tap the tabernacle of David, you know, the house of David, man, you know, and, and the house of David, you know, that embodies uh, New Jerusalem, you know, which is the kingdom of heaven. Ultimately, you know, it says uh, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about. You know, so, you know, ultimately, you, we're, we're not, we're we going to stay on the path, man. You know, we're we going to continue to do what we have to do to get through the path, you know. Ultimately, by by what? Because cause we're staying within uh, the body of the house of my shop, you know. We're, 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 uh, we're, we're, we're not trying to uh, be multiple men going in at one time. We're being one man going in at one time, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got uh, a quick one just laying back. Um, this is in the book of Proverbs 14 and verse 16. Well, that wasn't it. Um, Slakia. Yeah. I think it's in this chapter. But um, just a quick one. This is in Proverbs 14 and 12. It says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You know, and that's a lot of ways, man. You know, we're talking about that broad path. It's a, it's a lot of ways you could get on that path, all right, on that path to death, as this is bringing out, man. You know, but there's a way, which we know Yahweh Shai is the way, you know. Mm. I was just thinking of that. Uh. <laughs> God. God, you know, so this is uh, this is how this thing works, man. Yahweh Shai ultimately is that straight gate, you know. We're that we're that man, all right. So Yahusha is, is the Yahusha is that man, and he's also the straight path if you can receive uh, yeah. it. That's heavy, uh, yeah, because you got because you got to go through what Yahusha Mashiach went through. You know, you know, even though you can't go through it on the level that he went through, but you're gonna have to go through a facet of it in your own form and fashion. You know, form and fashion. Yep. Huh. Let me pull something for you. Uh. You, you can keep reading down in Ephesians um, to, to 15 huh. out, and then, you know, whatever you got. I know you said you had one that you was holding. Huh. Back in Ephesians 4 and uh, 15, it says, um, let me read 14 again. It says, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they light and wait to deceive. But... And, and, yeah, uh, so like, you just one more huh? point on yep. that, too. Yeah, I was out my shop. He endured that on a high level. The spiritual demon Satan himself came to Yahweh Shia to try to deceive him and, and carry him to and fro, you know? Mm hmm. Yep. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Hamashiach. Yeah, and that, that back up what you were saying about the love. You said, but speaking the truth in love, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not not uh in, stri in strife and contention or vain glory you know filthy lucre you know or or of constraint you know 
but ultimately, you know, doing speaking the truth, truth and love, man. You know, and that's ultimately, you know, a, a tool. So, you know, you could, uh, you know, combat, combat, um, you know, all all the attacks and the obstacles, man. You know. Mm-hmm. Verse sixteen. It says, "From whom the whole body, fitly joined together and compacted." By which every joint supplieth, it says, according to the effectual working and the measure of every part, making, it says Slakia, maketh increase of the body into the edifying of itself in love. Yeah, so, bro, that's, that's how the body increases, man. You know, but for, to, to, to the, to, to the, unto the edifying of itself in love, man. You know, that, so that, that's how the body increases, man. You know, it, it, built up, you know, to, to, to the love of yourself, man, you know, like he tell you in uh, Sirach 14, to whom that he, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good, man, you know, and that's ultimately, you know, a part, that, that, that's an obstacle, man, that's an obstacle, man, to be able to, uh, you know, start to have, you know, confidence, self-confidence within yourself, man, you know, which ultimately, you know, having self-confidence is having confidence in the how about you now, you know, do, by by doing things according to how he told you to do, you know, because that's ultimately the only way how you gonna enter into uh, that that city that's built it, man. You know. Mhm. Con. Just to add, you know, it's more than just doing the work. Like this right here isn't talking about just doing the work. You know. Con. Like we brought out in the, you know, we quoted, you know, Ephesians, uh, Philippians one. You know, that some preacher Mashiach. You know, they they not preaching it in love. You know, so you, it's more than that. It's more than just you know doing the work to be part of this body. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately enduring into the end, because there's gonna be a lot of people that's not gonna make it, man. Who's doing the work? You gotta be. You gotta be in the body. You know what's going on. You gotta be mm-hmm. in the body. You know, it says it, it says for whom the whole body be joined to, joined together and compacted by that which every joint supply it, you know so uh, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part you know well, it's got to be the, the, the body's got to be tight man you know why because only one man can go through at a time you know yep Con. yep that was it on that yeah that was it uh, Um, I guess I could get uh, let me just get let me get Sirach 2. This is the book of Sirach 2, and uh, verse 1 it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. It says, Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Just to continue on, it says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Mm-hmm. Talking about enduring, man. You got it. Also, like it, not, uh, not to cut you off, just a quick point. And at Ephesians 4, it was just speaking about the increase of the body, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and, and that's uh, enduring through uh, the cunning uh, the cunning craftiness and the slight of the end, you know? Mm hmm. That's, yep. that's you know that that's that's continuing in in, in, in the love you have us in our side. God. Verse three it says, "Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state." It says. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Mm. Just like we was bringing up. You know, something strange happening, man. That fiery trial. You know, this is how this thing works, man. You know, this is for gold is, is tried in the fire, man. You know, you know the prophecy in Zechariah 13. That one third, all right, is going to be going through that fire. You know, mm. and then that, that's, how, that's how this thing works. This place is going to be cleansed with fire. This place, mm-hmm. all right. <laughs> this place is gonna be a, a altar, man. It's gonna be a burnt altar offering, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, particular men are gonna go through that fire, man. You know, 
and be accepted, man. Be accepted. All right, through, through that straight gate into the kingdom, you know. But we gotta endure. We gotta endure that that straight path. You know. But yeah, that was the point on there. Nah, nah, nah. You got some other. Um, I was thinking of Second Ezra eight and one before, but you have some. Uh, yeah, you can bring you can bring yours. I, I, I got uh, a couple. Kind okay, of this is Second Ezra eight and verse one. It says, "And he answered me, saying, The Most High hath made this world for many, but the world to come for few." Huh. Mm -hmm. So it's special. It's, it's special traits. So like, mm -hmm. I that's what I said. Uh, so you like, got it. Yeah, it, it, it's special traits that uh that the few are gonna possess. You know, it's special traits that the few are gonna possess. You know, uh that 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 uh are promised the world to come. You know, they're gonna have special traits. You know, <laughs> what what what's those traits, man? They they're gonna have the trait. Of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, which our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, you know, uh, he was the closest thing to uh, perfection, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. And First, so we got to be the closest thing to perfection as well, you know. Con Matthew five says, "Be perfect as the Most High is perfect." <laughs> yeah. Verse two it says, "I will tell thee a uh, similitude." Ezra's, as when thou ask the earth, it shall say unto thee, that it giveth much mold, thereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold cometh of, even so is the course of this present world. See, it's the process, it's how this place, this is how this thing works. It says, verse 3, there be many created, but few shall be saved. You gonna be saved. Just like, well, look, look at your house out my shop, man. You know, your house out my shop is one man, <laughs> one man. You know, ultimately, which you know, he's the uh, the top spirit under the heavenly father, your house. You know, but you know, one spirit. You know, it's it, it, it's all that you know. Your house, your house was like ultimately been dealing with since the beginning, really. You know, mm. you know, so. You know, you you read that last precept one more time, out. Verse three. Uh huh. Bible it, says. It says, "There be many created, the few shall be saved." Right. Yeah. So, ultimately, you know, Yahweh Shah Mashiach was the only one who the Heavenly Father was dealing with from the beginning. But you know, with many spirits that are created and many, you know, vessels, you know, that that, that are created, man. You know, but ultimately, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. He, He's the only one who's not received the glory, man. You know, he's the only one who endured and received the glory. You know, then on top of that, only 144,000 and one third out of all the billions of, uh, of people that's, you know, down here on the earth, including those who are in the spiritual realm already, who are part of the elect, you know, are, are, are going to receive that glory, man. You know, the, the rest, you know, going to be wiped out out here. Yeah, but you know, so he's he not dealing with many, man, you know. So the, the the many, the the only one that he was dealing with, which was the Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, is, is 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 the only one he's still gonna be dealing with through the body of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know. That's why we gotta make sure we embody in him, man. You know, because ultimately, if we're not, you you're gonna be destroyed, just just like it. When no nobody else received glory except for Yahweh Shai Mashiach, but with with him being able to subdue all things unto himself, you know. On that, we're going to be able to subdue all things through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, Romans the eighth chapter. You know, being joint heirs with him, man. You know, so we we have to, you know, the, the only way, you know, we're going to be of those who are the, uh, of the few who are saved, like our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, is being like our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. Mm hmm. Ah, that's heavy. You want me to pull something? Uh, yeah, Con, uh, can you get uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and uh, 23? Con, 2 Corinthians 11 and 23, it says, are they... Okay, we start at 22, so like, uh, Con, it says, 
2 Corinthians 11.22 Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. It says, Are they ministers of Hamashiach? I speak as a fool. I am more in laborers, more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in deaths off. Right, because look, it says there, there, there be many created, but there, you know, are few that shall be saved. You know, so ultimately, you, you, you got, you know, you got uh, Hebrews, you got, you know, you got, you got Israelites out here, you got the, the seed of Abraham out here, you got, you know, servants of Amashiach, you know, Yahushua, you know, but it, but Apostle Paul said, I am more in labors more abundant in stripes above measure in prisons more frequent and in depths off man you know because ultimately it's, it's on it's, it's, it's through it's only certain type of spirits that can endure certain type of things man you know certain certain spirits they're gonna get weary and they might they're not even gonna deal with this but they're gonna be faithful ultimate tribulation man you know mm -hmm. you're going out to like uh 30 up 31 to like yeah. God. It says, verse 24, of the Jews, five times received, I forty stripes, save one. It says, thrice. Paul's like, man, I, I got forty stripes for one strike, you know? And, and it's just like, uh, and Luke the 12th chapter, when it say that, uh, to whom much is given, much is required, man, you know? The, the, uh, to him that knew the will, he gonna be beaten with many stripes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though we know that's applying applying to a different subject matter, you know, but still, you you you, you see where I'm going with, you know. Mm -hmm. Verse twenty five. It says, "Thrice I was beaten with rods. It says, once I was stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. In journeys. You know, this, it's mm -hmm. like this. This this is an example of all the different." Uh, you know, this this is an example of all the different um you know trials and tribulations the different obstacles you know that uh uh that you know we're faced with to get into the kingdom of heaven you know yep apostle paul you know he was going through all these different obstacles you know right it says in journeyings often in perils of waters and perils of so robbers you see, it said in journeys, in journeys often, in, in perils of water, in, in perils of waters, which we, we, we touched on that in second Ezra, we kicked it off with that in second Ezra, well, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, the, 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 the city that's building, and you have to go through, you know, uh, fire and water, you know, on, on both sides, you know, journeying, you know, that, that's what we're going, we're, we're journeying, we're going through journeying. You know, we're, we're trying to get to that city that's built it and going through that broad field. It's journey, you know. Mm -hmm. And journeys often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. In weariness and painfulness and watchings often in hunger and thirst and fastings often in cold and nakedness it says beside those things that are without that which cometh upon me daily the care of all churches of yes, all the churches so you, see, you, you see uh how you know how, how much how many obstacles apostle paul was faced with you know what i'm saying you know, all, all the different obstacles he was faced with, you know, perils by the heathen, you know, perils by his own countrymen, you know, perils in the city, you know, perils in the wilderness, and perils with, you know, in the sea, you know, anywhere he went, you know, he said, and perils among, among false brethren, man, you know, so you, you, you deal with stuff in, in all different types of facets, you know, you deal with trials and tribulations on all different types of facets. To, you know, to, to get to the kingdom, man. You know. Mm -hmm. And he said, besides those things that he's touching on, you know, what, what about you know the, 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 the uh, what will come upon him uh, daily? 
you know, the care of all the, the, the things that come upon him daily, you know, the infirmities that you got to deal with your, within yourself, you know, the, you know, being wary to your mind, thinking, fucking with your mind, you know, it says the care of all the church and on top of that, because, you know, we, we're, we're responsible one for another, man, you know, mm-hmm. you got to make sure that the, the body fitly uh, is joined up together, man, you know. Mm-hmm. You wanted me to keep going? Nah, you go 31 up. Converse 29, it says, Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is offended, and I burn not? It says, If I right, must... Mm-hmm. That, that, that's letting you know that we... It's like you are. That, that, that's letting you know that we are all the one of each other. Because he said, Who is weak, and I am not weak? Who is offended, and I burn not? That lets you know that we all make up that one man. You know, if one man hurt, then another man hurt. You know. God. It says, "Who is weak and I am not weak? Who is offended and I burn not? If I must needs glory, I will glory of the things which concern mine infirmities." It says the power and Father of our Lord Hamashiach Yahushai, which is blessed for evermore, knoweth. That I like not. Right, because you know, ultimately, uh, you know, this 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 who is all about you know, myself, you know, and that's why, you know, uh we, we take glory in our affirmities. Why? Because, you know, uh our Lord Yahushua Mashiach had to uh go through uh infirmities on, on, on maximum level, on, on a maximum level. You know, so that's why we take glory in our infirmities because Lord willing, you know, we can be that acceptable man. Like our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know. So that's why we, you know, we, we're glad that we go through these different things. So Lord willing, we can be accepted, you know. And we know that we must go through tribulation and enter into the kingdom of heaven. We know that few be there that that, that find it. It's only going to be a few who can endure all these different things. Like what kind of what what, what kind of man do you got to be? You know, deal with with perils from the heathen, deal with perils from your own country, man. You know, be uh, beaten by your own uh, your own uh, people. You know, uh, you know, and endure all these other things while you know other people of, of your own nation are, are not going through the same things you're going through. You know why? Because only a few gonna be that make it. You know, all, everybody think be pressure, man. You know. Mhm. Yep, that's how this thing works. But, uh, you got some out? No, you got it. You grab uh Second Corinthians three and uh and start at nine and then go down to like uh go down to fifteen and then that's all I really got in this screen from you. Okay, this is in uh, Second Corinthians three and verse nine. It says, For if the ministration of condemnation be glory much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. Oh, so like the first Corinthians three now. Uh, so like the God. First Corinthians three and nine. It says, "For we are laborers together with Yahweh Bashim Hashai. Ye are Yahweh Bashim Hashai's husbandry. Ye are Yahweh Bashim Hashai's building." So really, we are that city that is building. <laughs> mm-hmm. The kingdom is within us, Lord willing. God, God, God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful point. Verse 10. According to the grace of Yahabashim Hashai, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. Right, yeah, make make sure you're within <laughs> you, you're, you're you're walking within the guidelines on how you gotta walk to be able to uh get 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 to that city, man. You know, which ultimately you got it within you to to know how to get to that city, but you can't be uh carried to and fro like we read in Ephesians the fourth chapter, man. You know, you gotta stay on track, which you know, we all have to stay on track because we're one one of another. Now, if you're not staying on track one with a, a, another, you, you're bearing off. You you can use somewhere else. You know, if you bear off too much, you're gonna you're gonna fall in the fire and the water. It's over with. You know. 
from. Verse 11 it says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is that is laid, which is Hamashiach Yahusha. You see it's telling you right there, you can't you can't come up no other way. Well tell you, uh if any any man try to come up another way, the same as a thief and a robber, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't creep in no, no other way, man. You gotta go the way which is set before you. You know, which our Lord Yahweh Shah Masha, the author and finisher of our faith, already said it before us, man. And that's why I say let us run with patience, man. Be patient. And do what in your patience possesses your souls, man. You know? Mm hmm This is verse 12. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Right, you know, so that's that's you being able to balance yourself uh, through, you know, the fire and the water, all the perils that set before you, man. You know, that's being that's, that's being able to navigate through it, you know. Now, if, if, if you are uh, unto that fullness of a Mashiach, you know, or if you are within the body, then you're going to be able to endure all the tribulations. You're going to be able to make it past the fire and the water, you know? Yep. It says, verse 14, If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. Yeah, he's going to the, he gonna make it to that city that is built. You know, he's going to make it to the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, why? Because he made it through all the obstacles. You know, why? Because he followed the uh, format and the found uh, the, 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 the the format and the foundation, you know, on, on what he needed to follow to make it there. Mm -hmm. So, if any man's work shall be burnt, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. Right? Yeah, because that, that, that's the only way, man. You know, ultimately, you know, you might trip up, you might. You know uh stumble you know but long as you stay on track man you know what i'm saying you're gonna make it man you know and that's what it's all about man staying on track you know edifying edifying and increasing you know we're supposed to be increasing together man you know so even if you know we stumble or things get off track as long as you stay on track ultimately you know you're gonna still you, you're gonna suffer loss you know well like i tell you in matthew 5 if if, if uh if if you're a right hand matter of fact, can you get there real quick? Uh, Matthew five and twenty three nine. Come on, this is in say Matthew five and verse twenty nine. It says, "And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell." Right. See, that's the, that's the whole point, man. You know what I'm saying? So you might you might lose a toe, you might lose a foot, you might lose a hand, but ultimately, you know, it, you you know, you suffer loss. You know, your 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 work is still gonna uh, abide. You know, because it's gonna uh, be be revealed by fire. You know, because ultimately, you know, you made it. You know, through through the fire, regardless of what you had to lose. You know. Hmm. Yep. You got anything else? To, uh, uh, nah, that was it. That was beautiful. God, nah, nah, yeah. So you know, if if you're right, if you're right, if, if you're right, I offend you. Pluck, pluck it out, man. So you can make it. So you mm -hmm. can stay within the body, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. Stay within that path. That's between that fire. That uh, that that. You know, I guess you know Christians say hellfire. You know what I'm saying? You can throw that <laughs> throw that eye out in the in the hellfire. God, bro. You know, stay on that path. God, bro. And then it's uh, two in that uh, twenty nine. Uh, another point on it, real quick. It said um, that um, you know, and not that thy whole body should be cast mm -hmm. into hell, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this this ain't all about uh, you. You know, this ain't all about mm -hmm. you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's others too. We embody each other, man. That's that one man that can go in at a time. Now, if you're not uh, within that body, you're not going to be able to go in at a time, man. You know, that's why you got to pluck off you and your wants and, you know, 
and, and what you thinking so you can fit fit within the body man you know because otherwise you know if you can't do that then you know you you're gonna fall in the fire you're gonna fall in the water you know mm-hmm yep uh, yeah that's 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 it uh calm hey so yeah little well this was edifying to the elect with that you want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kadash, double honors to Apostles and Ellis, a great millstone, who were well. Peace and salutations to all the sincere Akim, the during afflictions, making the calling and election sure. Shalom to the elect.